people, and welcome to my attempt at making a YouTube video. Welcome to whatever this is. I don't really think I can call it a channel yet because I'm, I'm really bad at editing. Um, I can make chaotic videos for days, but I can't edit them. So, if you want to sit through this video with me, it's going to be long. Not fully, not, hopefully not too long. But, uh, I won't cut out any of my craziness. Some of you like that, some of you don't. Um, but I have my shoes that I got from YRU on clearance. It was an awesome sale. They did 50% off the already sale price, so I think the most expensive pair was $50. And if you follow any YRU shoes, you know they're over $100 normally, so it's, it's a good deal. Good deal. And they're platforms, which I love, because I'm short and I want to be tall. And, um... Also, I love YRU because I can find platforms, but they're always like heels. Like it's going to be like a two inch platform on a three inch heel giving you a five inch lift. But I can't do that arch anymore because of my EDS. My whole body's falling apart. I just can't handle the heels anymore. If you want to buy some of my awesome shoes I've collected over the years, and you can walk in heels in your size five to six, check me out. I will have links in the description for my... Uh, everything. Poshmark, Depop, Markai, or whatever, however you say that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm going to be posting a lot more of the listings on there very soon. Alright, let's film our little intro for TikTok because i got to make a part two of the shoe opening series. And you can watch it on both or either. In fact, if you're watching on here, you're going to see what's there in the behind the scenes. First behind the scenes look... My phone is stuck to the wall via Velcro. Yeah. I, I saw that hack on TikTok. Totally did it. Works like a charm. So, voila. Let's get to it. I got it set on 60 seconds. I've already had to refilm both of these because uh, I thought I hadn't set it to 60 seconds, but I had, and then I rambled for 60 seconds realizing that, and then I refilmed it all. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Hello TikTok, welcome to part two. I'm filming a YouTube video right over there. So if you watch both, you will see each other. Or no, you'll see me twice if you want that. I don't know why you'd want that. But here we go for part two of the shoe opening. This will probably end up being three or four parts so you can see everything in detail. Sorry about that, but you're welcome to come along for the ride or skip ahead and I'll try and film a video at the end that has just the shoes. That might be the best idea, and I can do that after I finish this. Um, let's see, what should you know? There are five pairs. I'm gonna start from the ones that are closest to me. Uh, part one of my TikTok was talking about how the box got to be super busted up. It had a sticker on the top that was like, received in damaged condition, I'm like, Okay, as long as my shoes are okay. It's like, this box was beat up. There was a hole in the bottom, the whole top was crushed in. I'm scared. But, here we go. Okay, so this first one says Anthony Wang Collection. See that? I know nothing about the shoes I bought. Sorry if you are a super collector. But... Let's, let's show off these. Ooh. Can you read this? It's all going to be backwards for all of you. You guys can see this. It's a size 6. What does that say? Honeydew. White. I can't remember what shoes I bought. This is going to be fun. Woo! First pair. Ready to open. Put a timer on this for three seconds. Oh, oh my god, I remember these ones now. Uh, it said white, and that's like the main color of the shoe. 
If it had said rainbow, I would remember immediately. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these. This is like a Monster High shoe. Like, this is like a doll shoe. Look at this beauty. Oh my god. I, I'm gonna be a doll. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to style these. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me both. And then I gotta pack up the box nicely. Because these are good shoes. And I will keep them in their boxes. Because one, it'll make it easier to store them. And two, it'll keep them nice and safe. Okay, so this one's got a bit of an arch. The heel comes up to here. Um, I'll see how it is. It's a, it's a stabilizing shoe because it's tennis shoe shaped. But my love, my life. I'm so, oh my god. I can't wait to try them on! Ah! <laughs> Let's film the end of this video. Ready? These are the first shoe. Come back for part three for the next pair. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah! Filming. Let's let's just put the writing uh, part. Was that part two? Yeah, because it was one, one and a half. This is two. I can count. I can count. Woo! I. I hate listening to myself speak. Why why have I chosen a passion in videography of my own person? I don't like my voice. I mean, like, I do, but I don't like it as me. Like, you know that? Like, if I was not me, I would like my voice, but I am me, so I don't. You dig? Regrets saying that immediately. Sorry, I've been rewatching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. My brain's in 2004. Don't judge me. I'm about to put this on 60 seconds. The second pair is just a Y or U. Look at that beauty box. Ooh. Part three. The next pair. Hopefully, another one after that. Let's get this open. Pull it. I'm going to scooch this box a little. Sorry, Josh. He's watching me. Let's put it on like a three or four second timer. Ready? Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. Another one. Ooh. Oh, you can't see. Ooh, these ones are simple, but. Oh my god. Okay, ready? You get to see them first. I'm gonna wear these all the time. They're just gonna make me a little taller, and they're just like, oh, they're so nice. Like, they're cold, because they were outside and it's cold right now, but like, I could step on someone with these. And that's hilarious, because I'm the size of a 12-year-old. Let's show y'all again. Oh my god. These are amazing. Do a full spin for both cameras. Ooh. Should I put these back in the box as I go? Because I didn't with the first pair. Nah, I'm gonna try them all on. Who am I kidding? One of them I said I was gonna have my mom pack up for a Christmas gift, and I probably will, but I'm gonna try it on first to make sure that it Bits. If not, I'll probably post it um, as a new listing on one of the clothing sites I sell on. Because if it doesn't fit me, I would love to get money back, but they were on sale, so they won't return them, you know? But that's fine, because someone with a slightly bigger shoe size will be able to appreciate them and they'll be brand new. Right? But I'm hoping and praying they all fit me. Let's get into the third pair. Pair number three. 
Sometimes I film and make those noises and I feel like I sound like trippy draws and I don't intend to. If anybody has like heard that along with me with my vocal for I just I have a mimic voice if I'm around someone too much or if I watch someone's videos too much I will develop a sort of accent that mimics them and it's totally involuntary it's sort of an issue I used to when I was homeschooled throughout middle school and the beginning of high school I would watch a lot of shows on BBC I watched Outlander for a while uh H2O Mermaid should the number of accents I had was ridiculous. I'm like those children that have developed a British accent from watching Peppa Pig. Yeah, that's me, OG. I also have a mermaid tail. Things happen. <laughs> All right, let's put a timer on here. A few seconds. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Good, start countdown. Ready. Oh, and these are the pair that I have to try on, okay. Okay, you know, um, I'm probably gonna mess up her name, but, uh, Vars, or Varsnix, and amazing, amazing, gorgeous person from, I, th I think they live in New York, um, does bridal shop and fashion, does the, um, sets on Depop that she sells, the clothing sets, I wanna say she, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure on the pronouns. Forgive me if I'm wrong, um, but these remind me of her. I'm pretty sure she has them. Look at that. Look at that. But it's like open toe sandaly, right? So like I don't need these throughout the winter. So it'd be totally easy for me to just like pack them up and have my mom give them to me for Christmas. I told her she can like find something that matches them and make it like a set so it's still like a surprise. But then she doesn't have to afford the whole price of the big gift, you know? Helping out money-wise. I gotta show them too. Okay, so get ready for uh, deja vu <laughs> and a closer look. All right, we're gonna click a timer. Actually, we're not gonna click a timer. We're just gonna go with it. Ready? All right, so these are the pair that I plan on packing up and having my mom get me something to match them for Christmas so she doesn't have to, like, worry about a big gift because I help. And... They remind me of uh, Vars, if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna tag you, because I love you. And inspiration. Look at these, they're amazing. And I think the bottom's the same as the Ballet Bay, and I have those in the same color, so I'm hoping that they'll fit. Ooh, me. <laughs> I love them. Awesome. <laughs> Let's label part. Three. Do you guys like the behind the scenes of my TikTok? Is this fun? Or is it incredibly boring? Who knows? We're at 13 minutes. So if you're still here, thank you for sitting with me for 13 minutes of me blabbering about shoes. Hopefully you really like the shoes. Um, I'm going to get some better video. Oh, this box is broken. Hmm. Better pictures of them later. So they can be appreciated visually by you all. I put these back in the box because they're all wrapped up because of the buckles and stuff and I'm not pulling all that off, especially if I'm gonna have them wrapped up for Christmas. Make sense? <clears throat> Before I pull these two out of the box, I'm gonna film the intro and then grab them. Switching it up. Ooh. Yee. Ooh. Okay, so Real quick side note before I do this, this is your extra behind the scenes stuff on my brain. You know all those videos that's like the bisexual hand gestures, like we don't know how to speak? I I totally get it. I've been doing peace signs a lot because that's that's like TikTok does a lot of peace signs, but throughout my my past few years, especially as I've been out, it's almost got nothing to do with the bisexuality. It's more to do with my social issues but uh it doesn't help that i think most people are very pretty so pretty you're so pretty it's not fair but anyway when i was in school we had an asl class american sign language and that's the language i took which is awesome and all but it's also kind of a setback because i can't help anybody who speaks spanish at work 
because I learned how to not speak in school. A uh, little bit of a mistake. I honestly kind of wish I learned Spanish because I'd be more helpful. And I feel really bad when I have to like stand there in silence and wait for someone else who does speak Spanish. Especially because one of the only people who speaks Spanish at the place I currently work doesn't want to. They just, they find it a hassle. I guess it's because it's always them. I don't know. But this is a sign, and I pretty much understand it as this means same, at least in my demographic where we learned ASL. And, like, same, agreed, also, you know? But same was a big, uh, saying for me. So, whenever I have that, like, the mood, you know, I agree. And you know, you know the thing. If you know the thing, you know the thing. And that's my thing. I, I just... If I have to give any sort of inclination, if I understand, I agree, any of that, I, I, I'll do that. And it's become a thing to the point that, like, other people around me understand what that means. And sometimes I think about that, I'm like, that's not a thing for other people. Another insight on me, I feel so sick right now. I don't talk about it all that much, like, I talk about it more than most people, but I have a lot of health issues, which is why I miss work so much, and I'll sometimes just not be on TikTok for days. Um, right? At this particular second, I think I'm sick. That's just situational, because there's viruses going around, and I get sick easily. But I feel very warm all of a sudden, like, I feel like I have a fever, I probably don't, I have a low body temperature because my blood pools in my legs. But I have been sitting on my bed for a good few minutes, so it could just be the blood flow to my head, which makes me feel feverish. Isn't that fun? Ah. I use humor to get through pain. You want to look at the next pair of shoes? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, this looks like another uh, strange cult. Strange cult. I think that is what that is. Let's show you again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Part four. Last two pairs. These ones say strange cult. Got a cool thing on the top. Let's do this. I don't feel good! Welcome to YouTube, where you get to hear me scream because of the pain. Because TikTok doesn't give me enough seconds to show you. <sighs> Reality is fun. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. We're already at 18 minutes. I want to keep it under 25. That's reasonable. I love the tissue paper in this. Look at the tissue paper in this. I love it. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, and there's two pieces. Ooh, ooh. I know which ones these are because there's a huge box and a small box. So, of the two that are left, only one makes sense. These, um, I actually got because I love them, but also to be in a, uh, for a Mavis cosplay from Hotel Transylvania. Ready? You get to see them first. Oh my god. They're not platforms, but... Look at the little bat wings. They're just like leather chucks with little bat wings. I'm gonna die. I'm never gonna take them off! Let's show you again. <laughs> We have these beautiful leather converse kind of like chuck shaped shoe with red divots and cute little red bat wings. Ooh, ooh. All of the lacing is also, or stitching, not lacing, stitching is all red. Oh my god. They're just so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Kisses you. Don't judge me. We're taking these babies out of their box. Throwing all the extra stuff. Because I definitely want to try them on. 
those ones are for wear. And this is just like a normal shoebox. That's, that's kind of nice. I like both kinds of shoeboxes, but I find the ones with the actual lids, like the flap lids or the actual lids, to be I don't, easier to store, unless they're the ones like the first one, that they, these kinds have handles, so you can actually set them upright and it's easier to pick them up without dropping the shoes out of them, which is something that happens. Okay. The last pair, it's another YRU pair, also huge. Last pair. Okay, we're gonna set a timer. Oh my god, I get the lighting to adjust again. You guys, you got good lighting. It's because my lamp's over there. Sorry, TikTok. Okay. Ready, start countdown. Ooh. <laughs> Drop the paper. Whoopsies. It got stuck on this giant monster of a box that they sent them in. No wonder it got crushed. Okay, so if you can't tell, my favorite color is green. Look at this. Look at this shoe. Look at the look at this shoe. Ah! I love it. The final pair. They're green. They're monstrous. They're gorgeous. I'm gonna live in them. I hope I can walk in them. And they got fancy aglets. Ooh. Now I know we all know that from Phineas and Ferb and the aglet whole thing, right? But I was watching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and there's a scene where the one where London has to stop spending money, but uh, then Maddie takes all her credit cards um, and that's the whole plot thing with them, their arc. But at one point, London's trying to convince her to let her spend money. She's like, just a pair of shoes, just shoelaces, just a little thing at the end of the shoelace. And Maddie goes, the aglet? And of course Maddie knew that before Phineas and Ferb because Maddie, you know. But I just, I felt that was important information that Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was there first. I'm trying to tie these back in a knot for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes they get task oriented. Do you ever do that? Like you have to do something before you can continue or is that just me and my OCD? I have diagnosed OCD. It's not a colloquialism. But yeah last pair you love them i love them i'm so pleased so let's run through them again we got our killer mavis kicks vampire my giant monstrous green ones we've got standard step on me boots trainers for pride gotta love it and the amazing pink monsters they're over here Christmas. So I guess check back <laughs> check back in around Christmas to see those ones all styled. And over the next week or so I will be styling all of these shoes and videos. Check my TikTok for that and I'll make a like connect all the videos into one YouTube video when I'm done with them and post it on this channel. Which I should know more about considering I'm filming a video for it. Um, let's see how this goes. Thank you for joining me and sitting through 25 minutes, if you're still here, of me rambling and opening lots of shoes. I hope to be doing these more often. I do a lot of different haul things of clothes, of shoes, of art supplies, of toys, whatever my brain has me impulsively buy that week. But I'll also be doing informational videos about my art, about the different work I'm doing, and just stuff going on in my life, I guess. I feel like I'm missing a lot of important, uh, important information and I'm rambling through my words, but either way, I thank you for joining me. I will be back soon, and I love all you guys. Love you!
Bye.